Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, as we continue this Advent journey, a journey which will lead us to the Nativity of Christ, to his breaking forth into this world, for the Word became flesh and he dwelt among us. As we gather today to rejoice in expectation of joy, the fulfillment of God's promises are so near. Let us first recall that we are sinners, and the reason Jesus came was to save us from our sins. Let us be thankful and ask for mercy. Let us pray. O God, creator and redeemer of the human race and of human nature, who called that your word should take flesh in an ever-virgin womb, look with favor on our prayers that your only begotten Son, having taken to himself our humanity, may be pleased to grant, us, to grant us a share in his divinity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob called his sons and said to them, Assemble and listen, sons of Jacob. Listen to Israel, your father. You, Judah, shall your brothers praise, your hand on the neck of your enemies. The sons of your father shall bow down to you. Judah, like a lion's whelp, you have grown up on prey, my son. He crouches like a lion, recumbent, the king of beasts. Who would dare rouse him? The scepter never depart from Judah, or the mace from between his legs. While tribute is brought to him, and he receives the people's homage. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, <coughs> and your afflicted ones with judgment. <coughs> justice shall flourish in his time, and the fullness of peace forever. The mountains shall yield peace for the people, and his hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the people, save the children of the poor. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. May his name be blessed forever. As long as the sun, his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the children shall proclaim his happiness. Justice shall flourish in his time, the fullness of peace forever. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. wisdom of our God most high, guide creation with power and love, come to teach us the path of knowledge. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A 
reading from the Holy God from the beginning of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, son of David and son of Abraham. Abraham became the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Zephrah, whose mother was Tamar. Perez became the father of Hezron, Hezron the father of Ram, Ram the father of Amminadab. Amminadab became the father of Nashan, Nashan the father of Salmon, Salmon the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rahab. Boaz became the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed became the father of Jesse, Jesse the father of David the king. David became the father of Solomon, whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam the father of Abba, Abba the father of Asaph. Asaph became the father of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat the father of Joram, Joram the father of Uzziah, Uzziah became the father of Jotham, Jotham the father of Ahaz, Ahaz the father of Hezekiah, Hezekiah became the father of Manash, Manash the father of Amos, Amos the father of Josiah, Josiah became the father of Jeconah and his brothers at the time of the Babylonian exile. After the Babylonian exile, Jeconah became the father of Shittiel, Shittiel the father of Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel the father of Abud, Abud became the father of Eliakim, Eliakim the father of Azor, Azor became the father of Zadok, Zadok became the father of Aki, Akim the father of Elu, Eli became the father of Elzar. Elzar became the father of Maham, Maham the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. The total number of generations from Abraham to David is 14 generations. From David to the Babylonian exile, 14 generations. From the Babylonian exile to the Christ, 14 generations. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I've always said that in those times when we read the genealogy of Jesus, I always wish a deacon was present. I cannot imagine how many names of our ancestors that I have butchered today, but I'm sure that the Lord will forgive me. You know, genealogy has taken new interest, revived interest over the past decades or so with all of the DNA testing that we can trace our roots, and many times many of us are careful and wondering and just want to know about our own backgrounds, that perhaps something was hidden that didn't get passed on from one generation to the other. But what was also interesting is that a couple of years ago, I myself decided that I wanted to take that DNA test. So I ordered one of those kits and did whatever was prescribed to do, sent it in, and awaited the results. When the results came back, it was determined that I was 99% Eastern European, something I already knew. But I was hoping that perhaps it would be a little bit more specific about what country in Eastern European, but since those borders changed so many times, it was very difficult to determine that. So after spending whatever, $100 or so, I know nothing more about my origin today than I knew when I was growing up. And you know, that's okay. 
Because truly, what you and I are, we are the adopted children of God. And you know what's interesting about the genealogy of Jesus is that genealogy traces its way through Joseph, who was the foster father of Jesus, not the father. Jesus' humanity comes to us from Mary. But he becomes really adopted into the children of Israel, just like we become adopted into the family of God. Of course, one of the very interesting things about Jesus' genealogy is, you know, they didn't quite try to make it perfect, you know, in a way where they hid some of the strange characters in that line. You know, sometimes we don't like to mention people who perhaps who have gone astray or have not really lived their faith. I mean, really, almost in those very opening lines, when we hear about David, that David became the father of Solomon, whose, wife, whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. So we know right there that David committed adultery, and they did not try to hide that. Also, there are some women named in the genealogy, which normally does not happen from there. Tamar, Rahab, Ruth, and Bathsheba. And they weren't Jewish. Most of them were Gentiles. So the gospel today, I think, gives us a lot of information. And it truly what it does is it tells us we are adopted children of God, just as Jesus was almost like an adopted child of Israel. And it does not matter. And it doesn't matter who's in our family roots and tree. That we don't worry about someone who has gone astray or someone who perhaps doesn't live a beautiful life as we would expect. Because it doesn't matter because we are children of God. That's where our true genealogy comes from. That is where our true origin is. The adopted children of God who Jesus has come to save. And so today, let us give thanks for the gift of Jesus, the gift of the Savior. His birth and nativity is so near. Let us keep our hearts prepared and waiting, regardless of our family of origin. calling to mind the needs of our own community and of our world, let us join our prayers and lift them up to God. We pray for the church. May the Holy Spirit give her strength in her efforts to spread the good news of Jesus Christ, especially during this Advent season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our world leaders, may the peace of Christ always inform their policy making. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own nation, may there be an end to abortion and hatred in our streets. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for educators throughout the world, those who are catechists, who pass on the faith. May the joy and wisdom and creativity of the Holy Spirit infuse their teaching. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering in mind or body, may God's healing and mercy provide them relief. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they be warmly welcomed into the Lord's presence by the communion of saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for your needs and your intentions that we bring to the Lord today in the very silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come. I unite myself wholly to you. 
Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. God of awe and wonder, hear our petitions and look upon them with your loving care. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We forgot to pray thee, our Father. Taking all of these prayers, we lift them up to God our Father, praying as Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Prepare